Giving and receiving goes both ways. The point is to develop a generous heart. A generous heart loves to give, but also recognizes that there is a time to receive. Here's the thing. As children of God, our lives are predicated on receiving what Jesus has accomplished for us. Now, look, I'm not talking about walking around and expecting everyone to give stuff to you all the time. That's not it. It's not about developing an entitlement mentality. It's obviously not about, you know, thinking that you're better than other people and that you deserve this more than somebody else. This isn't about getting upset when you don't get what you think you deserve, but it's really important that we're able to receive because there are so many things in the kingdom of God that you can't get any other way. There are times when you will have to go after something. Jesus said the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violent take it by force. There are plenty of things in life that are not just given to you, but at the same time, there are a lot of things that you will only receive, that you will only experience when you understand the nature of the inheritance that God has provided you with. Here's the deal. We have to use balance. Just for example, salvation, forgiveness, eternal life, all that, it's all been given to you. Jesus bought it for you. It's a gift. All you have to do is receive it. Done. He gives you unconditional love. He gives you according to the riches of his glory. There is no shortage in the kingdom of God. There is no lack. He has given you everything that you will ever need. But he's also given you promises for you to go after in partnership with him. I'm not at all advocating like some kind of a passive Christianity where we just wait for everything to come to us. We wait uh, for God to do everything for us. I'm talking about resting in the fact that his grace labors on your behalf to accomplish every single assignment he's given you. It doesn't mean you do nothing. But it does mean recognizing that he is your source. If he promised you something impossible, rely on his resources to get it accomplished, not your own. I don't know. Um, I don't know about you, but for a long time, I operated based on the mindset that I had to earn everything. I had to earn God's affection. I had to earn his approval. I had to act right all the time. And when I messed up, I definitely had to pay for it. Did you know that like when you walk around with guilt and condemnation over something that you did wrong, it's actually a futile attempt to try and pay for something that's already been paid for. You think you deserve to feel guilty over your sin or your mistakes or whatever. Guess what? It's a lie. It's absolutely not true. Jesus paid the full Christ, you are accepted by your heavenly father, not on the basis of your works that you've done, but on the basis of the finished works of Jesus Christ. He went to the cross for you. Why? Because you couldn't do it yourself. He made you righteous. Why? Because you couldn't do it for yourself. But here you are trying to earn something or become worthy or uh, you know, worthy for something that has already been perfectly taken care of. You're trying to prove yourself, trying to become more valuable. Look, that ship sailed a long time ago. He already did it. He made you more valuable than you could possibly imagine.